and before starting our session before uh, starting our session please so let us discuss about course overview what exactly this course what are the benefits and what are the timings what are the fee let us discuss first so we are going to be discussing complete aws linux basics shell scripting the total duration of this course is 2.5 months 2.5 months please so for learning aws which are all the prerequisition is required linux basics is required that i will be covered shell script required that i will be covered no programming no programming required for learning this course and we are not using any programming also for practicing aws we required we required is so this is your laptop configuration who can join in this course freshers can join experience people like developer tester so windows administrator a db administrator any non it students can join in this course any graduate education any graduate like btech mtech mca bsc computers any graduate can join in this course so if you join in this course which are all the benefits what are what are all the benefits you are going to get a daily class recordings will be received after payment daily class recording videos you will be received via google drive after payment after payment so you are going to be joining google classroom after payment just like whatsapp group it is just like whatsapp group basically i'm going to be helping you resume preparation i'm going to be helping resume preparation resume preparation and interview question and answers please Eighty percent of materials will be soft copy material will be provided. Our classes start from basic level to advanced level. Means each and every class practically I'll implement in front of you. That will be an assignment for you. Daily one hour class, nine thirty a.m. to ten thirty p. ten thirty a.m. Our classes are Monday to Saturday. so for this for this you are going to be paying 4000 rupees for complete aws daily recordings this is my admin number please call if any kind of admin fees is fees related or any kind of admin question please call to them and what exactly the content i'm going to be delivering in this this is my content course content link please copy paste in the browser so if, if you click on second document you can able to see course content what exactly i'm going to be deliver
please look at this please one sala okay i'm going to be copy paste in the chat box please be get it out please be get it out please please be get it out please understood very clearly fine so let us start our session so before a starting before a starting before understanding what is aws what is a cloud i am going to be asking one question please for all of you what is an application anybody what is an application please do you have an idea please what is an application the working software which is written in any programming language we call as an application the working software which is written in any programming language we call as an application please understood very clearly the working software which is written in any programming language we call as an application that application we are going to be placing on servers that application we are going to be placing on servers after successfully placing on servers we can able to access over an internet as a website let me repeat one more time what is an application the working software which is written any programming language we call as an application that application we are going to be placing on server side after placing on server side we are going to be accessing over an internet as a website as a website but for deploying this application for deploying this application on cloud or whatever may be what kind of infrastructure we require what kind of infra structure is required we require servers network database storage storage guys please so by helping of this infrastructure easily we can able to deploy and maintenance our application but how many ways we can able to get infrastructure how many ways we can able to get infrastructure how many ways to get ways to get in process we can get infrastructure either by physically
physically virtually cloud also cloud also we can get the infrastructure either physical environment or virtual environment or cloud environment and we can able to get this infrastructure these are all the servers either by physically virtually or a cloud and top of this environment on top of this infrastructure we are going to be placing our application but next question is what is cloud what is cloud compute what is cloud compute what are the cloud compute if we can able to access the remote placed resources over an internet is nothing but what cloud computer if we can able to access the remote placed resources over an internet is nothing but what cloud computing is nothing but what cloud computing let us understand little bit deeper what are the cloud computing guys please the remote placed resources over an internet if we can able to access over an internet from a laptop is nothing but what cloud okay so it is a data center means means the use computing for keeping in a rack wise in a big room we calling as a data center like this one like this in this room we have a ram cp motherboard the whole whole network kind of servers so uh, database store is what i mean please but this data center is located in remote place like america us mumbai singapore hong kong different in the world from remote placed resources like server database storage network if you can able to access from your laptop over an internet is nothing but what cloud computing is nothing but what cloud computing let me repeat guys please so this is physical data center kind of thing the remote placed resources if you can able to access from a laptop over an internet is nothing but what cloud computing is nothing but what cloud computing is nothing but what cloud computing but in the cloud computing we are not getting any laptops we are getting only servers network storage but any cloud provider is a rental based resources any cloud provider is a rental based resources is a rental based resources please got it any cloud provider rental based resources just for deploying our application we are going to be getting infrastructure from the cloud and easily we can able to deploy our application that is nothing but a cloud computer for example for example if you want to go to railway station okay by car by car you can get the car two ways one is rental car 
the second thing is buying car which is easy for you rental car easy or buying car easy for just for reaching a railway station anybody help me in the chat box quickly rental car easy or buying car easy for getting for reaching a destination rental car boys rental car means so instead of buying car just we are booking a wala cab go to railway station very easy because of for getting railway station go to the railway station booking wala cab or uber or whatever may be so not required licensing cost not required rt copy not required pollution check not required insurance copy not required to drive also just getting under the car reach your reach your destination pay the amount tariff that's it no need to maintain the car also but if you buy a car so these are all things we need to maintain a lot of things buy car is easy but maintenance car is very very difficult there so the same way so just for deploying our applications on server just for deploying our application on server or placing our application on server so are we buying server or rental server which is easy for you just to sake of deploying our application on server buying server rental server for you which is easy for you guys please buying server rental server obviously rental server obviously rental server okay so that means by using cloud we can able to get a rental kind of infrastructure and easily we can able to deploy our application very easy that is the beauty of cloud that is the beauty of cloud what is it cloud is a rental based services for maintaining deploying our applications got it so for example if you want to buy a server and maintenance how difficult please think about it buying a server easy not easy okay after buying a server where exactly we can able to keep in a big room that room we calling as the data center who will pay the current bill who will pay the employee salary who will pay the maintenance so ongoing amount every month it is very 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 difficult it's very difficult so that's the reason current industry wants to move cloud for getting rental based infrastructure maintaining deploying our applications only for that for that which cloud we are using any cloud azure aws google these are all leading cloud providers but we are going to be learning aws we are going to be learning what a w s amazon web services amazon web services please amazon web services amazon web services in this amazon web services totally we are going to be discussing four models not services models under each and every model we are going to be discussing a lot of services so vpc model we are going to be discussing ec2 model we are going to be rds model yes s3 model we are we are going to be learning so what is the meaning of vpc vpc is nothing but a network ec2 is nothing as servers rds is nothing but database s3 is nothing but a storage what is it vpc ec2 rds s3 so ec2 is nothing but what servers vpc is nothing but what network rds is nothing but what database 
S3 is nothing but what storage. Got it. Very clearly. So we are going to be learning. These are all the four models. If you want the full details of which model, which services we are going to be covering, please look at these models. And let us discuss about what is the VPC one by one. Let us briefing. What is VPC? What is EC2? What is RDS? What is S3? Let us understand, please. So what is the VPC? VPC is nothing but what? Virtual private cloud. VPC is nothing but what? Virtual private cloud. Just like your office network, how exactly your office kind of network we can able to get it from internet and a virtual form, we can get a private network. What I said? Let me repeat for our understanding. A office kind of isolated private network we can access over an internet in a virtual form is nothing but what VPC is nothing but what VPC example Facebook can anybody can access guys anybody but your home page your home page by default it's locked by default it will be locked based on permission outsider can access your credentials like my your your my home page your home page or friends home page also but altogether are accessing the same facebook account or not the same way aws all people can access but this is your private section this is my private section this is my friends private section simple i can say we have a two kinds of offices this is my infosys infosys office network this is my hcl office network both are same or not no both the companies are using aws but they are going to be creating their own private network in that network we can able to create our resource like a servers and databases who can access who cannot access we're going to be writing the rules and regulation is nothing but what vpc is nothing but what vpc simply is nothing but what vpc equal to network just like an office network that that's it for today but for deploying our application we are going to be using ec2 EC2 Elastic Cloud Computer. Elastic Cloud Computer. Elastic Cloud Computer. By helping of EC2, we can able to create a service. we can able to create a servers guys please we can able to create a servers guys please we can able to create a servers ec2 is nothing but what elastic cloud compute means wow or an internet we can able to get a RAM, CPU, motherboard in elastic form means a flexible kind of resources. We can able to get it over an internet is nothing but what? EC2. EC2 we can simply be calling as a server. In our point of view, EC2 is nothing but what? Server. What exactly the components are available in your laptop? 
the same kind of component we are going to be getting from our server like cpu operating system hard disk ram firewall nic card for your understanding let's give an example so let, let us go for hard server application please go for hard server application if you want to deploy a, a hard server kind of applications first thing is what we require to see is we require a network this is an exactly network am i right this is an exactly network on top of this network we are going to be creating a server on top of this server we are going to be placing a hot server application then there itself over an internet we can access our hot server application like this like what exactly we are accessing right now very good excellent but what about login information customer information like email address phone number in a tabular format where exactly we can able to keep in my database in my database guys please so our customer information we are maintaining in database in a, a tabular format in a structural way mysql oracle any kind of databases we are going to be using excellent up to here is we understood very well but my question is what about our movies so what are the purpose of this hot star so web series is movies yeah but this blurry kind of movie this blurry kind of video file can I able to insert into the database is it possible Say yes or no, please. Please tell me. No, answer is no. We can't answer. So that's the reason we are going to be using external hard, external storage. Yes, three simple storage services simple storage services simple storage services so by helping of s3 simple storage services we can upload or download any kind of information like video file, audio file, text, image, PDF, anything over it. It's just like an online bucket. It's just like an online storage. Best example for this to understand Google Drive. Google Drive. Google Drive, guys, please. The best example, this presentation, this PPT presentation coming from the Google Drive itself. So what I'm trying to tell you, please, by helping of AWS, we can able to get, we can able to get, we can able to get network, servers, databases, and storage. By helping of this raw infrastructure, we can easily deploying our applications over a cloud please so for deploying our applications we require infrastructure this infrastructure we can able to get it physically virtually cloud but why we are moving into the cloud because if it is a rental based resources and easily we can able to get an infrastructure and we can deploy got it but one question is to keep on asking my students what is the difference between so database with s3 bucket so rds is a table database we can insert the data in a tabular format 
and the RDS means the database, MySQL, Oracle database, depending on operating system. Without operating system, we can't use MySQL or Oracle. Got it. We can insert the data in a tabular format. So with through application only, we can access directly. We can't with through operating system only. But S3 bucket is like a Google Drive. It is not depending on any operating system. It is not tabular format. Just upload image like doc PDF. Power and internet from anywhere in the world we can access that is a major difference between so RDS and as well as S3. Understood very clearly. And so that's it exactly AWS. Got it. So let us rewind one more time. What exactly we are gonna be. Please one second. So what is exactly the course content? What are maybe please let us. Uh, so we are going to be discussing complete AWS, Linux basics, shell scripting. Total duration is two and a half months will take. For learning this uh, AWS, Linux basics required that I'm going to be covering. Shell script required that I will be covered. No programming is required. You require a laptop to practice. Who can join in this? Freshers can join. Experienced students, experienced students like developer, tester, Windows, and DBA, any non IT, any graduate can join in this course. Yes. Recording, daily recordings will be providing via Google Drive after payment. Google Classroom will be available just like WhatsApp group. Resume preparation, I will be helping you. Entry question and answers, I will be providing you. So 85% of soft copy soft material will be providing you. So our classes start from the basic level, finish with an advanced. Our classes are each and every class is a, a practically oriented. Daily one hour class. So that is 9:30 a.m. to 10 30 a.m. Monday to Monday to Saturday classes are we are going to be conducting. Sunday, no class. Okay. So our course fee is. 4000 you are going to be paying for complete AWS course and daily recording sessions and daily recording sessions guys please uh, Venkatesh answer is no only so so please uh, if you want to talk to admin please call to them if you want to see my course content and uh, what exactly I'm going to be covering, please use this link. Okay. And one more important point. So tomorrow we are going to be discussing tomorrow session and this tomorrow session we will be discussing. So what is client and server communication? And what is the server? And types of servers. So, so, <clears throat> how many ways to get servers? Why cloud? So these are all things we are going to be discussing in tomorrow class, tomorrow session, please. Okay, so please, uh, regarding any payment, anything, please call to this number, please. So do any, if you want to do any payment, uh, call to this number, please. So they will help you how to do the payment, okay? If you want to see my course content, please use this. This is my course content. And uh, that is an exactly my end so before taking uh, questions please uh, just a minute huh? please wait just just a minute just a minute i'm i'm going to be as i'm going to be clarify with you please one second huh? this is designed only for devops huh? only sorry only for aws who want to become aws admin who want to become only aws admin this course is only aws admin who want to become DevOps engineer, 
devops plus aws that means complete aws complete devops so my course will be separate who want to become aws admin join in this session but who want to become a devops engineer as well as aws both please join uh, this uh, so one batch is already started 8:30 pm evening already started so today is the first class today is the first class and one more batch will be started 6 uh, am morning morning so so start from demos will be start from 24th okay so that's that's an exactly my end guys please so the fees is 12000 rupees including complete devops plus complete aws recording also it include linux basic shell scripting everything will be covered don't worry okay please this is information okay fine thank you any questions please god is kumar samir kumar for you only explain this choice yours you can choose your side if you want to become aws admin join in this course if you want to become a devops in as well as aws join in devops classes in devops also complete aws will be 100% it is a full aws not in half not 10 percent infection full aws full devops okay same syllabus yeah so are if uh, sir do you, uh, to get a job quickly which one is better uh, i can uh, for example for devops what will be the course duration four months only uh that choice is yours only so for example you want to start career as a linux then if your next goal is what b aws if you join aws next goal is what c devops a b c that's what if you want to stop here yeah you can you can complete this too enough fun you can go for go for entries you can get a job if you want to become a devops engineer you should complete this too then go for devops that's what that is exactly understanding our understanding okay samir for you this is an answer for you a b c simply we can understand so you want to don't want to become a devops engineer yeah please be but salaries are very different so that, that's it exactly my and guys please do you have any technical questions please me please please so this is my bin contact number this is my course content link thanks a lot guys please thanks lo thanks thanks buddies and agendra please tell me nagendra please tell me nagendra reddy um you want to talk to me eh? one second
Nagendra, please talk to us. Yes, sir. Yeah, good morning. Uh, thing is, uh, morning around 6 p.m. classes, is, sir. Uh, can you, yeah, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Huh. Hey, yes. Yeah, can you? Uh, is there any chance to move at a seven, seven o'clock? No, no, only that is fixed timing. If you change for you, the remaining students will be disturbed. That is designed for only for you know, outside the country. A lot of people are uh, joining that class that time. Okay. okay. And thing is, I, I have basic knowledge about the Linux. Thing. Can I? Uh, uh, cover this uh, AWS with the DevOps. Ah, oh, you can. Means uh, you can start it about from command or uh, how, how uh, at what level you started this. Uh, basic and from basic we started, we finish with the advanced. Means purely it is from uh, you started from the Linux commands. No, no, no. We're not. We're not starting Linux. So we're starting from directly. So either AWS or DevOps and so Linux. So we'll we'll teach separately. Okay, okay sir. Okay, then means it will help help me. Means uh, four months it is uh, very helpful helpful to me. Means actually if you start from Linux, it will take a lot of. That's why. Linux class is separate. So Linux class is not include this four months. Okay. You okay. will be dedicated this four months AWS and DevOps. And if you include Linux, one more one more month will be taken. Five months. Yeah, yeah. What, and means, yeah, I have little, yeah, I have basic knowledge on Linux and shell scripting. But Linux, yeah, that's why Linux covered will be separately. Okay. 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 Thank you, sir. I will join on six uh, six a.m. classes. Mm -hmm. Fine. Okay. Thank you. Month end. Okay. Please. Okay. Please. Uh, means whatever Linux and. Uh, it means uh, DevOps with uh, AWS. It starts from eight eight thirty. Ah, the month end. Okay, thank you. Thank you. If if we can't switch for that, you can shift after joining at six a.m. Yeah. If you can't do, you can shift eight thirty a.m. Okay, okay, better means my, my timing office timings is around uh, second shift. It is around twelve o'clock. That's why I, so I request it. If you join at six a six a.m. If you're not comfortable, you can shift to batch to 8, 8 30 p.m. after 8 30 a.m., but within one week. Okay, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Fine. So, up to what level we're covering Linux basics and it be basic administration enough. We're not expecting a Linux advanced level RP thing, not required. Means basic pseudo command. Level. Yes, pseudo uh, commands. Pseudo file creations, file permissions, user okay. management. Uh, these are all things will be covered. Um, yeah. Yeah, you. Linux. I mean, see, yeah, you you started out from user management and uh, uh, shell scripting, uh, shell whole scripting. whole yeah, yeah DevOps plus yeah. AWS within four months. Yeah. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, RPC for you. Uh, with certification, can we write complete this course? You can do AWS certification. Yes. You can do diverse certifications. So in this course, as we're discussing about these courses for designing for AWS, you can able to go for AWS Solution Architect Certification RPC. After completion of AWS course in this course, yeah, I will provide them. Yeah. So material will have, I will provide you. AWS Solution Architect document is there, I will provide RPC. In this, I'm talking about AWS, not DevOps. Yeah, that's it, guys. Please for today. So shall we leave for day? Thank you. Thanks a lot, all of you. Thanks. Thanks your time. Thanks. Thanks a lot. So we'll continue tomorrow. We'll continue tomorrow. So with the same link. Thank you. We will meet tomorrow. meet with same link thank you
Yeah. So good morning, all of you. It's not able. Good morning, all of, all of you, please. It's an audible to all of you, please. Is it an audible to all of you, please? Yeah, fine. Audio, video, everything is perfect. Am I right? So today is the first class and first demo. Okay, so let us fix our agenda right now. Today, we are going to be discussing what is AWS. Today, we are going to be discussing what is a W S. And before starting our session, before starting our session, please. So let us discuss about course overview. What exactly this course? What are the benefits? And what are the timings? What are the fee? Let us discuss first. So we are going to be discussing complete AWS, Linux basics, shell scripting. The total duration of this course is 2.5 months. 2.5 months, please. So for learning AWS, which are all the prerequisition is required. Linux basics is required that I will be covered. Shell script required that I will be covered. No programming. No. Programming required for learning this course and we are not using any programming also. For practicing AWS we required We required is so this is your laptop configuration. Who can join in this course? Freshers can join. Experienced people like developer, tester, so Windows administrator, a DB administrator, any non IT students can join in this course. Any graduate education, any graduate like BTEC, MTEC, MCA, BSc computers, any graduate can join in this course. So if you join in this course, which are all the benefits? What are what are all the benefits you are gonna get? A daily class recordings will be received after payment. Daily class recording videos. You will be received via Google Drive after payment. After payment. So you are going to be joining Google Classroom after payment, just like WhatsApp group. It is just like WhatsApp group, basically. I'm going to be helping you resume preparation. I'm going to be helping resume preparation. Resume preparation. And interview question and answers, please. Eighty percent of materials available, soft copy material will be provided. 
our classes start from basic level to advanced level means each and every class practically i'll implement in front of you that will be an assignment for you daily one hour class 9:30 am to 10:30 p 10:30 am our classes are monday to saturday so for this for this you are going to be paying 4000 rupees for complete aws daily recordings this is my admin number please call if any kind of it fees is fees related or any kind of admin question please call to them and what exactly the content i'm going to be delivering in this this is my content course content link please copy paste in the browser so if, if you click on second document you can able to see course content what exactly i'm going to be deliver please look at this please one sala okay i'm going to be copy paste in the chat box please be get it out please be get it out please please be get it out please understood very clearly fine so let us start our session so before a starting before a starting before understanding what is aws what is a cloud i am going to be asking one question please for all of you what is an application anybody what is an application please do you have an idea please what is an application the working software which is written in any programming language we call as an application the working software which is written in any programming language we call as an application please understood very clearly the working software which is written any programming language we call as an application that application we are going to be placing on servers that application we are going to be placing on servers after successfully placing on servers we can able to access over an internet as a website let me repeat one more time what is an application the working software which is written any programming language we call as an application that application we are going to be placing on server side after placing on server side we are going to be accessing over an internet as a website as a website but for deploying this application for deploying this application on cloud or whatever may be what kind of infrastructure we require what kind of infra 
structure is required. We require servers. Network. Database. Storage. Storage guys, please. So, by helping of this infrastructure, easily we can able to deploy and maintenance our application. But how many ways we can able to get infrastructure? How many ways we can able to get infrastructure? How many ways to get ways to get in infrastructure we can get infrastructure either by physically physically virtually cloud also cloud also we can get the infrastructure either physical environment or virtual environment or cloud environment and we can able to get this infrastructure these are all the servers either by physically virtually or a cloud and top of this environment on top of this infrastructure we are going to be placing our application but next question is what is cloud what is cloud compute what is cloud compute what are the cloud compute if we can able to access the remote placed resources over an internet is nothing but what cloud computer if we can able to access the remote placed resources over an internet is nothing but what cloud computing is nothing but what cloud computing let us understand little bit deeper what are the cloud computing guys please the remote placed resources over an internet if we can able to access over an internet from a laptop is nothing but what cloud okay so it is a data center means means the use computing power keeping in a rack wise in a big room we calling as a data center like this room like this in this room we have a ram cp motherboard the whole whole network kind of servers so, uh, database storage what i mean please but this data center is located in remote place like america us mumbai singapore hong kong different in the world from remote placed resources like server database storage network if we can able to access from your laptop over an internet is nothing but what cloud computing is nothing but what cloud computing let me repeat guys please so this is physical data center kind of thing the remote placed resources if we can able to access from a laptop over an internet 
is nothing but what cloud computing is nothing but what cloud computing is nothing but what cloud computing but in the cloud computing we are not getting any laptops we are getting only servers network storage but any cloud provider is a rental based resources any cloud provider is a rental based resources is a rental based resources please got it any cloud provider rental based resources just for deploying our application we are going to be getting infrastructure from the cloud and easily we can able to deploy our application that is nothing but a cloud computer for example for example if you want to go to railway station okay by car by car you can get the car two ways one is rental car the second thing is buying car which is easy for you rental car easy or buying car easy for just for reaching a railway station anybody help me in the chat box quickly rental car easy or buying car easy for getting for reaching a destination rental car by sp rental car means so instead of buying car just we are booking a wala cab go to railway station very easy because of for getting railway station go to the railway station booking wala cab or uber or whatever may be so not required licensing cost not required rt copy not required pollution check not required insurance copy not required to drive also just getting under the car reach your reach your destination pay the amount tariff that's it no need to maintain the car also but if you buy a car so these are all thing we need to maintain a lot of thing buy car easy but maintenance car is very very difficult then so the same way so just for deploying our applications on server just for deploying our application on server or placing our application on server so are we buying server or rental server which is easy for you just to sake of deploying our application on server buying server rental server for you which is easy for you guys please buying server rental server obviously rental server obviously rental server okay so that means by using cloud we can able to get a rental kind of infrastructure and easily we can able to deploy our application very easy that is the beauty of cloud that is the beauty of cloud what is it cloud is a rental based services for maintaining deploying our applications got it so for example if you want to buy a server and maintenance how difficult please think about it buying a server easy not easy okay after buying a server very exactly we can able to keep in a big room that room we calling as the data center who will pay the current bill who will pay the employee salary who will pay the maintenance so ongoing amount every month it is very 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 difficult it's very difficult so that's the reason current industry wants to move cloud for getting rental based infrastructure maintaining deploying our applications only for that for that which cloud we are using any cloud azure aws google these are all leading cloud providers but we are going to be learning aws we are going to be learning what a w s amazon web services amazon web services please
Amazon Web Services. Amazon Web Services. In this Amazon Web Services, totally we are going to be discussing four models, not services, models. Under each and every model, we are going to be discussing a lot of services. So, VPC model we are going to be discussing. EC2 model we are going to be. RDS model, yes. S3 model we are, we are going to be learning. So, what is the meaning of VPC? VPC is nothing but a network. EC2 is nothing as servers. RDS is nothing but database. S3 is nothing but a storage. What is it? VPC, EC2, RDS, S3. So EC2 is nothing but what? Servers. VPC is nothing but what? Network. RDS is nothing but what? Database. S3 is nothing but what storage. Got it. Very clearly. So we are going to be learning. These are all the four models. If you want the full details of which model, which services we're going to be covering, please look at these models. And let us discuss about what is the VPC one by one. Let us briefing. What is VPC? What is EC2? What is RDS? What is S3? Let us understand. Please. So what is the VPC? VPC is nothing but what? Virtual private cloud. VPC is nothing but what? Virtual private cloud. Just like your office network, how exactly your office kind of network we can able to get it from internet in a virtual form, we can get a private network. What I said? Let me repeat for our understanding. A office kind of isolated private network we can access over an internet in a virtual form is nothing but what VPC is nothing but what vpc example facebook can anybody can access guys anybody but your home page your home page by default it's locked by default it will be locked Based on permission, outsiders can access your credentials. Like my your your my home page, your home page, your friends' home page also. But altogether are accessing the same Facebook account or not? The same way, AWS all people can access. But this is your private section. This is my private section. This is my friends' private section. Simple, I can say. We have a two kinds of offices. This is my Infosys, Infosys office network. This is my HCL office network. Both are same or not? No. Both the companies are using AWS, but they are going to be creating their own private network. In that network, we can able to create our resources like a servers and databases. Who can access, who cannot access, we're going to be writing the rules and regulation. Is nothing but what? VPC. Is nothing but what VPC simply is nothing but what VPC equal to network just like an office network that that's it done for today but for deploying our application we are going to be using EC2 EC2 Elastic Cloud Compute. Elastic Cloud Compute. Uh, 
Elastic Cloud Compute. By helping of EC2, we can able to create a service. We can able to create a servers, guys, please. We can able to create a servers, guys, please. We can able to create a servers. EC2 is nothing but what? Elastic Cloud Compute means wow or an internet. We can able to get a RAM, CPU, motherboard in elastic form means a flexible kind of resources. We can able to get it over an internet is nothing but what EC2. EC2 we can simply be calling as a server. In our point of view, EC2 is nothing but what server. What exactly the components are available in, in your laptop? The same kind of component we are going to be getting from our server. Like CPU, operating system, hard disk, RAM, firewall, NIC card. For your understanding, let's give an example. So, let, let us go for Hardstar application. Please go for Hardstar application. If you want to deploy a, a, a Hardstar kind of applications, first thing is what we require to be is we require a network. This is an exactly network, am I right? This is an exactly network. On top of this network, we are going to be creating a server. On top of this server, we are going to be placing a hot star application. Then there itself, over an internet, we can access our hot star application. Like this. Like what exactly we are accessing right now. Very good. Excellent. But what about login information, customer information, like email address, phone number, in a tabular format, where exactly we can able to keep in my database. In my database, guys, please. So our customer information we are maintaining in database in a, a tabular format, in a structural way, MySQL, Oracle, any kind of databases we are going to be using. Excellent. Up to here is we understood very well. But my question is, what about our movies? So what are the purpose of this Hotstar? So web series is movies, yeah. But this blurry kind of movie, this blurry kind of video file can I able to insert into the database? Is it possible? Say yes sir, no please. Please tell me. No, answer is no one. We can't answer. So that's the reason we are going to be using external heart, external storage. Yes, three. Simple storage services. Simple storage services. Simple storage services. So by helping of S3, simple storage services, we can upload or download any kind of information like video file, audio file, text, image, PDF, anything over it. It's just like an online bucket. It's just like an online storage. Best example for this to understand Google Drive. Google Drive. Google Drive, guys, please. The best example, this presentation, this PPT presentation coming from the Google Drive itself. So what I'm trying to tell you, please, 
by helping of aws we can able to get we can able to get we can able to get network servers databases and storage by helping of this raw infrastructure we can easily deploying our applications for our cloud please so for deploying our applications we required infrastructure this infrastructure we can able to get it physically virtually cloud but why we are moving into the cloud because if it is a rental based resources and easily we can able to get a infrastructure and we can deploy got it but one question is to keep on asking my students what is the difference between so database with s3 bucket so rds is a table database we can insert the data in a tabular format and the rds means the database mysql oracle database depending on operating system without operating system we can't use mysql oracle got it we can insert the data in a tabular format so with through application only we can access directly we can't with through operating system only but s3 bucket is like a google drive it is not depending on any operating system it is not tabular format just upload image like doc pdf Power and internet from anywhere in the world we can access. That is a major difference between so RDS and as well as S3. Understood very clearly. And so that's it exactly. AWS. Got it. So let us rewind one more time. What exactly we are gonna be? Please one second. So, what is exactly the course content? What are maybe please let us. Uh, so, we are going to be discussing complete AWS, Linux basics, shell scripting. Total duration is two and a half months. Will take for learning this uh, AWS Linux basics required that I'm going to be covering. Shell script required that I will be covered. No programming is required. You require a laptop to practice. Who can join in this? Freshers can join. Experienced students, experienced students like developer, tester, Windows, and DBA, any non-IT, any graduate can join in this course. Yes, recording daily recordings will be providing via Google Drive after payment. Google Classroom will be available just like WhatsApp group. Resume preparation I will be helping you. Entry question and answers I will be providing you. So 85% of soft copy, soft material will be providing you. So our classes start from the basic level, finish with an advanced. Our classes are each and every class is a, a practically oriented. Daily one hour class, so that is 9:30 a.m. to 10:30 a.m. Monday to do, Monday to Saturday classes are we are going to be conducting. Sunday no class. Okay. So our course fee is. 4000 you are going to be paying for complete AWS course and daily recording sessions and daily recording sessions guys please uh, Venkatesh answer is no only so so please uh, if you want to talk to admin please call to them if you want to see my course content and uh, what exactly I'm going to be covering, please use this link. Okay, and one more important point. So tomorrow we are going to be discussing tomorrow session and this tomorrow session we will be discussing. So what is client and server communication? And what is the server? And types of servers. So, so, <clears throat> how many ways to get servers? Why cloud?
so these are all things we are going to be discussing in tomorrow class tomorrow session please okay so please uh, regarding any payment anything please call to this number please so do any if you want to do any payment uh, call to this number please so they will help you how to do the payment okay if you want to see my course content please use this this is my course content and uh, that is an exactly my end so before taking uh, questions please uh, just two minutes huh? please wait just just a minute just a minute i'm i'm going to be ask, i'm going to be clarify the details one second huh? this is designed only for devops and only sorry only for aws who want to become aws admin who want to become only aws admin this course is only aws admin who want to become devops engineer devops plus aws that means complete aws complete devops so my course will be separate who want to become aws admin join in this session but who want to become a devops engineer as well as aws both please join uh, this uh, so one batch is already started 8:30 pm evening already started so today is the first class today is the first class and one more batch will be started 6 uh, am morning morning so so start from demos will be start from 24 okay so that's that's an exactly my end guys please so the fees is 12000 rupees including complete devops plus complete aws recordings also it include linux basic shell scripting everything will be covered don't worry okay please this is information okay fine thank you any questions please god this kumar samir kumar for you only explain this choice yours you can choose your side if you want to become aws admin join in this course if you want to become a devops engineer as well as aws join in devops classes in devops also complete aws will be 100% 